नेक्स्ट थर्ड वन इज साइटोलॉजी थर्ड वन इज साइटोलॉजी सर द मीनिंग ऑफ साइटोलॉजी इज काइटोस काइटोस मीन्स सेल्स नेक्स्ट वन इज लोगोस एज वी नो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लोगोस स्टडी आर नॉलेज so here in the cytology the study of structure of cell and cell organelles is called as cytology sir in the cytology what we are studying structure of cell and cell organelles the study of various types of cell organelles as well as cell is called as cytology and in the cytology there is one more branch which is called as cell biology one more branch is known as cell biology sir what is the cell biology S cell biology is the study of cell as a structural functional unit of an organism sir in the first topic what we are studying in the cytology only we are studying about cell structure how the cell structure is there what is the plasma membrane structure what is the structure of endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex ribosomes nucleus mitochondria only we are studying about the structure of cell as well as cell organelles in the cytology but what we what we are studying under cell biology in the cell biology we are studying a cell in the point of structural and functional unit of the cell so this is called as cell biology means how the cell is performing its function what are the functions of the cell organelles so the study of cell is a structural and functional unit of an organism so this is about the cell biology and cytology okay next physiology sir here generally in the physiology physis means function physis means what function so logos means study or knowledge logos means study or knowledge sir what we study under physiology sir okay physiology is a branch of zoology that deals with the study of functions of different body parts in the in the physiology we study about different types of functions of body parts for example digestion respiration circulation excretion muscle contraction impulse transmission so these are all the functions which are happening in our body so the study of different types of processes or functions of body parts is called as physiology is called as what physiology okay next fifth one is embryology fifth one is embryology okay so william harvey can be considered as father of physiology william harvey can be considered as a father of physiology has he identified the circulatory system in the uh, human being next one is embryology let's see meaning of embryology so embryos means fetus embryo means what fetus logos means study or knowledge what is the meaning of logos study or knowledge so here in the embryology it deals with the study of the activities are the things which led to the formation of gametes in embryology we study about formation of gametes next one is fusion of gametes fusion of gametes and formation of zygote early growth early growth 
and differentiation and differentiation so here in the embryology that deals with the study of events different types of events that led to the formation of gametes formation of male and female gametes fusion of gametes so fusion and male are male and female gametes then formation of zygote early growth so how the marula blastula gastrula are formed that is early growth next differentiation of the zygote to the embryo differentiation of the zygote to the embryo is called as embryology simply the study of events of formation of gametes fertilization next zygote formation early growth differentiation of zygote to the embryo is called as embryology next there is another branch that is developmental biology developmental biology sir here in the developmental biology generally in the embryology we only read about the intrauterine development what we are studying in the embryology only the intrauterine development how the embryo develops in the uterus of the mother so that is only study of events taking place inside the mother that is called as intrauterine development but whereas in the developmental biology developmental biology includes the development during the embryological development and it also includes development after the delivery after the delivery so development during the embryonic phase as well as development after the delivery comes under developmental biology so developmental biology is not only intrauterine development it includes <laughs> development of the baby after the delivery also so this is called as embryology